Hello everyone, my name is Kaif. I'm a cybersecurity enthusiast and today I'm here to share five most effective ways to learn about cloud security. I've been exploring cloud security for a while now and have experimented with quite a few things. So I'll be sharing some tips how you can learn about cloud security uh, in the most effective way, uh, also get hands-on experience as well as things that can help you be in the loop with the industry and uh, understand where the cloud security industry is going. So let's get started. Number one, the most common way of learning cloud security and often the traditional is doing different certifications. These are your certifications from Azure, AWS, GCP, etc. One of the biggest benefits of these certifications are they provide a very structured learning uh, path for you. Apart from that, uh, industries also recognize these certifications. And if you're a student or a newcomer to the industry, these certifications can definitely help you stand out. One of the drawbacks of the certifications are uh, most of them or almost none of them are free and you need to pay a certain amount of money. However, compared to other traditional um, security certifications, the cloud certifications are comparatively much cheaper. And uh, for the beginner certifications uh, from different um, occasions or events, you can all, uh, often get, get them for free. Um, so keep, keep a lookout for that. Number two, free hands-on labs and workshops. These are, in my opinion, the best way to learn about cloud security because you're learning quite hands-on in, in a practical way. Uh, I absolutely love doing the different free labs available from AWS, um, Azure, and much more. And often these ones go hand in hand with your certification and your certification training would prescribe some form of lab. However, if you don't want to pay for the certification and uh, are, you are more interested uh, in getting the knowledge rather than the certification, then uh, the labs are still a very valuable asset for you because they can uh, very quickly help you understand and grasp the fundamentals. Number three, um, capture the flag type of competitions. So uh, there's lots of free ones out there, such as the GCP GOAT, the FLOWS, FLOWS2, Thunder CTF, etc. Uh, they are very, very effective because they uh, help you um, understand the attacker's mentality. You take, pretty much put on the attacker's hat and it's a very fun challenge to figure out different flaws in the cloud. And um, it might not be the best to uh, start with a CTF if you have no idea about the cloud at all. Once you get a grasp of the fundamentals, doing CTFs can really maximize your learnings about cloud security. Uh, apart from CTFs, uh, Hack the Box also has uh, cloud themes, uh, themed machines, and these machines can be really useful in uh, learning about cloud vulnerability, how those can be fixed, and furthermore. Number four, uh, and one of my favorite one is podcasts, because this is something you can be learning passively when you're um, driving or doing exercises and much more, and still get a lot of valuable information. The best benefit of podcasts is different industry professionals share the industry experience and insights. And these are more of the nuances of the industry that really helps you uh, understand where the cloud security industry is going, what are the recent developments and what's shaping the industry. Um, similarly, you get to know about the common challenges and what are the uh, traditional solutions to some uh, common problems. And they're very, very interesting to uh, listen to. And uh, obviously my favorite podcast has been the Cloud Security Podcast. Um, no surprises in that one. I listen to it uh, almost every week and get to know about quite a, lot of, quite a lot of useful concepts. Number five, books. There's tons of good Cloud Security focused books out there and they can really help out dive deeper into the concept. Now, this one I haven't done personally myself a lot, uh, but I do understand that some of you might prefer reading from books more than other forms of um, education. I, I have read the Cloud Security Fundamentals from O'Reilly, and uh, that book was quite good to grasp some of the um, core concepts as well as it had lots of practical examples and sort of case studies, so which was nice. So that, that might be one of the benefits of the book. 
However, one of the drawbacks of uh, books I have realized is um, going through the entire book might be a bit overkill because you can learn the concepts much quicker from other sources and it's a bit time consuming, um, but it's still a very valuable option out there. And a bonus one, number six, uh, listening to different uh, current or old conference talks. Conference talks are an amazing way to learn what the industry is doing, what are the new cutting edge technologies and developments in cloud, and much more. And the best part is, um, due to COVID, a lot of the conferences are happening virtually and many of them are free. And you can find lots of old recordings um, in YouTube and various other places. Those are a gold mine. Now, personally, when I was starting about cloud security and I um, watched a few conference talks, I didn't personally know what was going on. But after I was uh, okay with the uh, core fundamentals and had the basic concept of cloud, the conference talks turned out to be much, much more valuable in understanding what's going on and what, what they're talking about. So that's definitely one to check out. And that's all for today. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. Let me know which method you prefer the most and if you have anything else that you, you use and I haven't mentioned. And like always, if you need any advice, help, or just want to chat, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or LinkedIn. I'll drop the links below. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Bye.